In this video, we are going to be using the online version of SketchUp to create ourselves a 4x2 Lego brick, which is going to look just like this one that you can see on the screen right now. So, to get started on making this, what we need to do is load up the SketchUp website, and I'm going to go into a new model here, and I'm going to be choosing the millimeter option. Okay, um, I'll just say no to that one. Okay, now when it loads up, you will get a little model standing here in the corner. Um, just click on him and press delete. Okay, you might have a female standing there, it could be a male, whichever one it is, just click on it and delete it because we don't need that. And what we're going to do to start our Lego brick today is we're just going to go down to our toolbox over here on the left and we're going to come down and choose our rectangle tool here. Okay, so that's a rectangle with a line running through it. Now I want you to click on the intersection here where the three axes meet and click. You can drag out and draw yourself a rectangle. Now if you look down in the bottom right down here, you can see the dimensions. Okay, so instead of just guessing what our Lego brick size is, I'm going to use the actual dimensions of a Lego brick. So I want you to write in 318 and then put a comma and then 158. Okay, that's millimeters. So 318 millimeters in length or width, whatever it is, and 158 millimeters going the other way. And when you press enter, you'll get this little rectangle down here. Now I'm going to scroll up on my mouse to zoom in so we can get a clearer view of that. Okay, and this is the start of our Lego brick. It is only small, that's why you had to zoom in a little bit. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it from a 2D shape into a 3D shape. Okay, so you can see now it's going along the X and the Z axis, which are the two flat axes here. Okay, what we're going to do is bring it up the Y axis and make it a 3D shape. So to do that, in our toolbox, we're going to grab this tool here, the push-pull tool. Okay, and we're simply going to click on our shape here and drag up. Okay, and you can make it however big you would like. But what we're going to do in this tutorial is get it exactly to the right height, which is 96 millimeters. Okay, so you can just drop it there and type in 96 and then press enter. And that will have your Lego brick sitting at the correct height. Okay, so that's the basic look of our Lego brick. If you want to have a bit of a look around, hold down the wheel on your mouse and just scroll around and you can get a bit of a look at how your Lego brick is looking at the moment. You can also hold shift and your mouse wheel down if you want to move side to side. Just close my antivirus thing there. Okay, so you can move around and have a look at it in all sorts of different ways, but usually just holding the wheel down on your mouse is the best way to have a look around your um, Lego brick. Now the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to put the little bumps on top here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually tilt my Lego brick up so I'm looking down on top of it. Just something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but near enough is good enough. Zoom in a bit there. Now, to draw these um, little circles on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some lines to help me out. Okay, now I'm going to start in the top left hand corner. Oops, sorry, I'm just going to draw a line that comes across 39 millimeters. So as you move across, look at the length down in the bottom right here and either hover across 39 millimeters or just type in 39 and press enter. Now you're not going to see anything, okay, but there is a line that goes along here. And what I want you to do is just go along until you see this little green circle appear and it says that's the end point. I want you to click and draw a line that goes straight down the bottom of the page like so and connect it up to the other edge. We're going to do that from the top right now. So click once on the top right corner, come across to the left and type in 39 mil, press enter, hover around until you see that little green dot, click and drag down to the bottom edge. Okay, now what we're going to do is go back to that top right corner, and this time we're going to go, going to go down 39 millimeters. We'll press enter, find that little green edge, there it is, and come straight across and connect it to the left edge. All right, and just go down to the bottom left hand corner now, click once, and come up that left edge 39 mil, find that little green dot, and drag across the other side. Okay, now these are just some guides that are going to help us out with the placement of the little bumps on top of our Lego brick. And you'll see where they come into play in just a moment. So to draw the little bumps on top of the Lego brick, I'm going to go back to my shape tool here and I'm going to select the circle. Okay, 
Now we're going to draw a circle that comes straight off this intersection here. So click on that intersection of those lines and drag out. And you can see you get different, different size circles the further you drag out. Now we want to make our circle 25 millimeters. Okay, so just type in 25 and press enter. That's a 25 mil radius we're typing in there. And I want you to do that for the intersection below this as well. Okay, so bring it out 25 mil and press enter. And they're the first two little bumps that you're going to see on your Lego brick. Okay, now I'm going to grab my eraser and I'm going to delete some excess lines that we don't need now. So I'm just going to click and drag over the top of a few of these lines that we no longer need. Okay, we've finished with those guides that help us draw our two circles in position so you can get rid of them. Okay, leave the guides on the right hand side because we're going to put some more circles over there in just a moment. So just get rid of all the ones that are attached to these two circles. Okay, now that we've got rid of those lines, we can actually extrude it or raise it up um, and give it a bit of height so it looks 3D. Okay, so I'm just going to swing my Lego brick back around so you can see what's going on here. I'm going to click on this first circle and drag up. And we want to go up 17 mil. So just type in 17 and press enter. Do the same for the other one, 17, and press enter. And you've got the first two little raised bumps on top of your Lego brick. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to copy these, and we're going to place them all across the top here. So go back and grab your selection tool, which is that white arrow from your toolbox. And I'm going to get you to click on the top face, and then hold shift, and click on the round edges here. And then come down to the second circle, click on the top face, and then click on the round edges. So you've had to click four times there to select all of those circles. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go down and grab my move tool, which is this bunch of arrows just here. And as I move, okay, I want to be pretty much moving on this center point. So I'm just going to bring it back up top here. If you move your mouse around the circle you see it'll go green as we go around the edges and as we come in towards the center it will go blue and say center okay that's what we're going to pick up and drag to the right now as you're dragging to the right hold control on your keyboard okay and that will give you another set of circles now we want to drag these across and connect them to the midpoint over here where we've got this intersection going on so be careful Okay, there it is there. You'll see that it goes green and it says end point. So I'm going to let go of control when I get to that point. And I'm going to press my right arrow key, which locks it into position there. And I'm just going to drop it into place. Okay. So once they are dropped, what I want you to do before you touch anything else is type in three and a forward slash. Down in your distance here, you'll see that I've got three and a forward slash. And press enter. And that puts those three extra dots in now across the top. So we've now got all the little bumps in our Lego brick. That's a little bit of a shortcut for you to save you having to do them one by one. Now you can grab your eraser and delete those excess lines that we don't need. Oops, I have that right. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. I'll zoom back out and just do a bit of a fly around. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's the top and the exterior, I suppose, of our Lego brick looking good. But if you remember on normal Lego bricks, there is an underside to them. Okay, remember we want to be able to snap this onto other Lego bricks later on. So we need to work on the underside. So holding down on your mouse wheel, swing yourself around to the bottom of your Lego brick. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit there. And what we're going to draw now is basically the outside section. Okay, so I'm going to use my uh, little line tool again. And I'm going to be coming in from this top left corner. So I'm going to click once on the top left, and move to my right, 14.9 mil. So type in 14.9, press enter. And let's move your line around until you see that little green dot that says the end point. Click and drag down to the bottom. Okay, now we're going to do that again, but we're going to come down this time. So we're going to start on the top left corner and come down 14.9. Press enter. 
center, find that little green dot, which is the end point, and click and drag across to the other edge. Okay, let's do it from the top now. So click once, come back to the left, 14.9 mil, press enter, find that little green dot, there it is, go down to the bottom. Okay, we'll just do this from the bottom here. So we're going to start at the bottom right, come up, 14.9, press enter, click on the green dot, and go straight over the other edge. Okay, and we've now got a nice border around the outside of our Lego brick. You can grab the eraser now and just delete those inside lines. If you don't know which ones they are, just look at what I'm doing here. Should make sense then. There we go. So that's given us a bit of a border around our Lego brick. Okay, now from here, there are three tubes that we need to add on here, which allow this brick to snap onto other bricks. Okay, so we're going to start by drawing the outer tube. All right, so we're going to use our circle tool to do that again. Actually, before we do that, we might um, just draw a line that goes through the middle of our um, Lego brick here. So just hover down the left-hand side here until you see the midpoint, and just drag across the other side to the other midpoint. There we go, that's going to help us, because these tubes pretty much sit along here. Um, now, I'm going to draw in a few other lines that will help us out. Starting from the top, right-hand corner, I'm going to click and come left, 79 mil, and press enter. Okay, when I find that 79 mil mark, I'm just going to click and drag down to the bottom. And that is the first intersection there. It's going to show me where my tube is going to go. I'm going to do that from the left-hand corner now. So I'm going to start at the top left and come to the right. And again, 79 millimeters is what we're after. There it is. Click and click. And then from this line here that we just added in, I'm going to click and I'm going to come across one millimeter further. So 80 millimeters is what we're chasing. Press enter. And that should give us a spot right in the middle, like so. Okay, so now we can draw our three tubes on. So as I said before, we're going to use our circle tool. Now these tubes, um, they're 31.55 millimeters radius. So click on the first intersection there, drag out and type in 31.55 and press enter. And do the same for the other two intersections there. Remember as I'm typing in my dimensions here, you'll see that it appears down in the bottom right. So my radius will be 31.55. Okay, now that's the outside of the tubes. We want to draw another circle that's the same shape, um, 5 millimeters smaller than this one. Okay, so the quick way to do that is to go down to your push-pull tool here, and we're going to choose this bottom option, which is the offset tool. Okay. And we're going to click on this circle here. Well, actually, before we do that, we're going to have to erase a few lines. Otherwise, it won't work. So grab your eraser and just delete any excess lines. Okay, all these guidelines now, we don't need them. So just go around running over them with your eraser. And don't forget the ones on the outside as well. They'll need to disappear. There we go. So now what we can do is that offset thing that I was telling you before. So go back over here and grab your offset tool. Click on this first circle now. And you need to get it when it goes blue like so. So just click on the line, which is the outer edge of that tube. And we're going to click. And you can see that you can make a circle bigger or smaller. Now we want to come in a little bit smaller. And just type in 5 and press Enter. And do that for each of the three circles. Click on the blue border there, bring it in five, and press enter. And we've now got the tubes that go on the bottom of our Lego brick. Okay. Now what we need to do is hollow out our Lego brick. So using this white arrow, I'm going to click on this base just here. It should um, be selected when you see all those little blue dots appear. And just press delete on your keyboard. And you can see that that has shelled out a good chunk of the Lego brick. I can see inside here it hasn't quite got rid of these lines. So what I'm going to do is just click on these lines and press delete. 
Oops, a bit too far then. Delete and delete. So it's just a matter of clicking on those guidelines that were there before, and that's hollowed out those holes. All right. So zooming back out now, you can see we've got the start of our tubes drawn. We just need to pull them up. Okay. So when we do this, we go back and grab our push pull tool. And we're going to click on the outer part of the ring. So if we zoom in here, we don't want this inside section. We just want the outer section. Okay. And we want to pull that up 81 millimeters. And okay, it's going to go towards the roof of our Lego brick. So just click and drag up and just type in 81. Press enter. Okay, and do that for the next one, 81, enter, 81, enter. Okay, and we've now got our three tubes connecting the top of our Lego brick. We just need to hollow these out as well now, so grab your select tool again, click on the inside of the tube and press delete on your keyboard. You can do that for all three of them. You can see now you've got three tubes drawn underneath your Lego brick. All right, so that is basically our Lego brick drawn. So we've got the top looking good, got the underside looking good. What we can do, just to give it a bit of colour, is add a material to it. Okay, so what I'm going to get you to do is just highlight all of your Lego brick by clicking and dragging over the top of it. That'll select it all. Go over to your toolbox and grab the third tool down, which is the paint tool. Okay, and... You should have some colours that you can pick from here. If you click on this little magnifying glass, you can browse through all the different colours um, that we've got on offer. So it's up to you what colour you want to make yours. I'm just going to go with a, a bright red. Okay, so I've selected the bright red. I'm going to come across and click on my Lego brick. Now sometimes it'll colour it all in. Sometimes it doesn't quite get everything. So just look underneath and you can see it hasn't quite got everything. So just go under there and click again if you need to colour in some other sections. Grab your select tool now and click off everything so it's no longer selected and you can see that you have got a nicely coloured 4x2 Lego brick that is completely finished.